Progress has been um, rapid, I think would be the way I'd describe it. In the matter of a few weeks, we've got this sort of outside layer of timber work up, which is working with those, with those timber I-beams and then this highly breathable MDF material on the outside of that. Um, and then we've actually got the windows fitted and now we are blowing the insulation. So having created this large continuous void of about 240 millimetres, in some places 200 millimetres, all around the outside of the building and up past the, the line of the insulation on the flat roof, we're now filling that with insulation, which is a blown uh, EPS, an expanded polystyrene with a, with a carbon activated expanded polystyrene. So it's a, it's a high performance polystyrene insulation, which comes as a little bead, which has got a little bit of resin on it. And it gets mixed up in the truck, pumped into these vertical channels that we've created, these vertical voids, and then they just pump it in at pressure and slowly fill it up. Now the real benefits of that are that the insulation stays completely dry at all points. So when that's blown, we'll cover this with a highly breathable membrane and tape all of that up, and that'll be completely weather protected. So you don't get that problem now of when we move on to the stonework, and this is the problem with more traditional methods in my opinion, is that you have a, a block wall goes up and then you slowly build up stonework and the insulation is kind of getting covered in uh, cement and mark and it's wet and it's slumping and it's getting mucked about and moved. This is completely isolated once it goes in and all of the gaps are filled. So there's a big issue in, in a lot of construction called thermal bypass and that's where if you have a, a sheet insulation or any kind of insulation that comes as sort of individual units you get gaps between them and you have to work very hard to make sure that there are no gaps because as soon as you have a gap it's like you know, imagine having two blankets and a little gap between them. You're going to lose heat through that gap. Exactly the same with your insulation layer. It has to be continuous. That's really important. And this, because it's pumped in at pressure, fills all of those gaps. So you get a dry, completely uniform, high performance insulation layer that doesn't get degraded by site exposure. So I think this is a really smart way to insulate buildings.